It's 8.30 right when I was supposed to be here. Good morning, Pendleton. <laughs> Good morning! No This girl is on fire! I got my ticket for the long way round. The one with the prettiest of views. What? I'm just sitting out here watching airplanes. Take off. Oh, that is so cool. Thank you very much. You're so welcome. Thank you. Okay, this is the end of session tie, and I'd like to point that right there, the bucking horse. All the senators received it last year. Very cool. Two chambers, the House and the Senate. But they are people that had something historically to do with Oregon. Young Chief Joseph up there in that corner. We were admitted to the Union on Valentine's Day, 1859. It makes a very distinctive sound when it walks. It is a princess. Also, that's the barrel in my office. So before you leave, you gotta go by and sign that because um, all the girls have done that for me before you. So if you would do that, that would be great. Actually, most days it isn't as content uh, from what you read in the paper that that. Uh, we fight like cats and dogs here, and it really isn't like that. And it's uh, really a pretty civil place. You know, you guys heard Jody's speech, and I, and I thought I said, you know, I think one of the things that she said that I think is so important is that no one should be judged just because they don't think like another person does. Hi. Hi. You don't have an outfit on. <laughs> What's your name? My name's Lady Neistad. Hi. Kendra, nice to meet you. Congratulations. Thank you. And where are you in school? I'm going to be at Eastern Oregon University. Awesome. Okay. Online courses. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. After a round of things, we'll settle down. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Right. Keep going. Well, congratulations. Thank you. So you're all horsewomen, right? Yes. Okay. Well, you think you'll continue on with your horse activities over time? Yes. Okay. Oh wow! Okay. <laughs> you better get good. One's a horse lover. What I say? It's the the best way to continue your horse activities is to have the financial resources. So. Hit that one on the head, I think didn't you? Come on in. <laughs> well, I can't ride a horse. <laughs> Mr. President, why don't you come over here? Mr. President, over here, next to Senator Hansel. Balance it out. It's a balance thing. No, no, no. no. Well, I want to tell you a true story. My first session here. Well, thank you, Mom, because you're not particularly dynamic. <laughs> <laughs> My first session here, we had the court, and in the most serious tone, he asked the Queen, as he said to you today, Do you ladies ride horses? I do say that. <laughs> and I'm thinking, I say, Mr. President, you're embarrassing me. Well, I don't know. He I says, don't know how to ride a horse. Nobody ever invited me to the roundup. That's right. It and never that's has. absolutely not true. Right. People that never been invited year after year. year. <laughs> and I don't know how to ride a horse. So <laughs> she said. And I don't know how to milk a goat either. Yeah. I'm tired of Loretto killing me at the state fair trying to milk a goat. 
Peter, let me finish my story. Hey, so the Queen yeah, says, Billy, Mr. Billy, President, you're very boring. Let, me, <laughs> let me introduce you. Let me invite you to the roundup. And he says, too late. He made you do that. I want to know, do you all know how to ride a horse? <laughs> yes. No, you don't. Know. <laughs> Do you know what a goat is? <laughs> you know what a goat, can you milk a goat? Yeah. It's no, milk. you can't. <laughs> you don't know how to milk a goat. I you know knows how to milk a goat. I know he knows how to milk a goat. I, I know how to milk a goat. goat. He, got he got beat. Know? He beat you. Not as good as he does, but better than you. <laughs> Publicly, I got like to invite the Senate President wanted. over for the roundup. Yeah. 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 When does the pedal line up start? Is it starting? September 13th through the 16th. Yes. September? Yeah. Yes. I, I can't go to that now. It's yes, not it It's not now. <laughs> you, I gotta wait to September well, to go to the roundup? Yeah. Why don't you have a June pedal to roundup? You gotta change it. That's the month I was born. I want the roundup changed. <laughs> I want the roundup changed to June. You're going to go no, I'm not June. going. It's not done during my room. It, it's got to be done during my month. I want a June pedal to roundup. What do you have a roundup in September? June. <laughs> Why don't you talk to the horses and cows? Say, what do you want to have around? I'll bet they'll pick June over September. The cows are <laughs> you want to go on Wednesday because that's senior citizen day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's funny, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> that's funny, don't you? <laughs> that's funny. you don't like old people. That's another thing. He told me the court is not crazy about old people. He told me that the day. They really are not crazy about old people. And especially those they think who belong in the system living facility. You told me that session I gave each senator a gift. I paid for it out of my own money. Not a single one of them has ever thanked me. Where would I stay if I go to the like where would I stay? No, I don't want to stay at your house. Brenda, what are you doing? Talking about me? You're gonna stay at Wild Horse. Yeah, you can go stay at Wild Horse. Hey, I want to I know Hey baby. I'm a man. Men stay at the Wild Horse. So I'm looking at your footwear. I like you like my footwear? Yeah. You look very comfortable. We might have to switch those for boots in September though. There you yeah. go. Can so I wear I wanna know, know, can I wear my footwear at the pedal Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well exactly. Straight <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. down the hall. We're rolling yeah. down the hall. Tiny to barrel. And where does the barrel reside? Jody Representative Jody Hacks. <laughs> Okay, give me your impressions of your capital visit. Give me your impression of our capital visit. Um, well, it's it was pretty cool actually. I really enjoyed it. I mean, Oregon. Katie Koba said we had to stop here. You have the best desserts in town. We, do. we have the best food, period. Best food. We the most beautiful lady. Oh, wow. Wow. So cute. Really good. German chocolate. And we're over here. That's the best one. You're all good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's so many choices. I know. <laughs> Lainey and I are waiting for our second Uber ride. The third one will be charged for because our first Uber driver screwed us, said he picked us up, didn't, and I have to figure out how to complain to Uber about that. We just got done at the Rose Festival dinner we were invited to. Had a good time. Lainey, what did you think about it? Uh, I I liked it. Fun people, I'd agree with that. The water was nice. <laughs> How about, did you eat your salmon? Some of it. Um, it is about 4.16, we're probably late. So we are going to the Oregon Food Bank for the KPTV with Andy Carson for Farmers Ending Hunger. Yeah. We are going to be on TV <laughs> with Andy Carson. We're practicing. Talk about Oregon Food Bank and the Pendleton Roundup. Let her back.
So we're here at Oregon Food Bank today, today with a roundup. So Oregon Food Bank is a network of 21 regional food banks and 907 partner agencies across Oregon and Clark County, Washington. So we're the people that are really the, the food hubs to get food out to those experiencing hunger in Oregon. And that's one in five people in Oregon. So we have a lot of need in our state and we are networked for efficiency and success. So we are working with all of the major food industry partners in the state and getting their excess food or their off-grades or even in some cases intentional planted crops to those experiencing hunger. We're here this morning at the Oregon Food Bank to announce Pendleton Roundup and Happy Canyon's partnership with Farmers Ending Hunger. Farmers Ending Hunger started in 2005 to raise food purposefully for the hungry in Oregon and the Pendleton Roundup plans to raise awareness and funds for shipping and processing of those foods and you'll hear more from us about it got an adopt an acre program where we'll raise that money i'm hungry where are the farmers <laughs> i'm not just at the oregon food bank i'm also here with these lovely young ladies right here we have the happy canyon princesses and the pendleton roundup princesses and the queen all the way over there on the end we're going to talk to them find out why are you guys hanging out at the uh, oregon food bank Good morning, I'm with Fred one more time here, and he is with the Farmers Indy Hunger Action. But the whole purpose of donating food is not here's a bunch of food that we bring as a farmers to the Oregon Food Bank, but it's how do you do it in a sustainable manner so it's month by month and it's people can expect it to do that. Three Mile Canyon Farm is a big farm and they will give us 25 cows per month, every month. We have one farmer, the Amstead Farm, and they will give us three quarter of a million pounds of potatoes we have uh, uh, River Point Farm, uh, they give us onion, 30 tons, 25 to 30 tons wow. of the onion that we bring here. Now to uh, the headline wind forecast for day today, and you'll see dry roads for the most part. Mm -hmm. so that'll be uh, making a transition. Potatoes, beets, carrots, that's why I have great eyesight. Cucumber, because I'm cool as a cucumber. My favorite veggie. Broccoli, but I'm standing by lettuce right now. <laughs> Let us eat some broccoli. Broccoli, but I'm standing by the cilantro. Tomatoes here, my favorite vegetable. Tomatoes. Kendra, you were studying that iPad pretty intently. Are you really thinking about going to this I'm weather thing? I'm trying to figure out how he can say all he's saying from the graph. But... Pretty impressive. Yeah. Andy's a pro, right? I mean, that's why he does what he does. I'd say yeah. so. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm semi pro right now. Okay. I haven't been called up for the big You're almost yet. there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. One last thing you could say before you go? I love. No, no, no. What's your thing you say before you go? <laughs> oh, on with the show. <laughs> on with the show. And you? Let it ride! There you go. Here, we'll give you one more shot at it. Go for it. On with the show. Yes, on with the show. Unless you go to Tony now for traffic. <laughs> is that real or is that just a prop? Is that really a microphone? <laughs> it's okay, Gabby. No, you made it's it all right. You made it entertaining. Right. Yeah. Well, we have something to talk about for the rest of the year. Right. Right. What's your part in the show Thursday night going to be? Thurs uh, I'm chasing a hooker. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Oh, four. Top four courts Woo! right here. Woo! Top four. I think the trip to Portland was a big success. Well, it was it was actually pretty interesting. I really liked it. It was pretty fun. Especially hanging out with the Roundup princesses and the Happy Canyon princesses. They're pretty cool people. And hanging out in Salem with politicians, although I may not agree with them, but I certainly can admire everyone there for their service. They aren't getting rich doing what they do. I think they really truly think that what their ideas are, I believe that they feel that's what's best for Oregon. And, you know, we all have our own opinion on that. So, in retrospect, the entire experience 
was fantastic.